Greetings, my beloved brothers and sisters, in the precious name of Jesus, brethren. The Lord is preparing a people in these last days. Even a great people and a strong that has never been or ever shall be, even to the years of many generations. A fire shall devour before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Beloved, I just want to speak to you for a few moments and a few minutes tonight. It's quite late here in London. Beloved, the Apostle Paul says, And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It's not in our strength, brethren. We are to be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. And we are to put on this whole armour. Why? Because Paul says we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In high places. And that's why, brethren, we have to be strong in the power of the Lord. We cannot be strong in our own strength because if we lean upon a broken reed, we're going to fall. And that's why the Apostle Paul, brethren, he encourages us to put on the whole armour. And the first piece of armour that Paul encourages the, the believer, the Christian, to really put on, he says, and having your loins girt about with truth, then the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes, the preparation of the gospel of peace, having your shoes shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and number four paul says and above all take in the shield of faith that ye may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit number six which is the word of god and then he says and praying always with all prayer and supplication with all perseverance for all the saints and the utterance may be given unto me that I may preach the gospel of Jesus boldly. Brethren, number seven, prayer. And that's why, brethren, God always deals with number seven. Complete. Brethren, we cannot be walking around as if this is just like a holiday. We're not on a holiday. Beloved, we have an enemy who's walking around seeking to destroy us, to rob us, and to kill us. And that's why we need to be clothed, beloved, with the whole armour. Having your loins girt about with truth. We need truth, brethren. God is the God of truth. He is the God of truth. Sanctify them by thy truth, thy word is truth. The truth shall set us free. We need truth, beloved. We need to fortify our minds with the truth of the Bible, the truth of God's word. Instead of spending time on things that have no eternal bearing upon us. How, how long do we spend in the word of truth? Beloved, the breastplate of righteousness. You know, the breastplate, Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 8. The breastplate of faith and love. Oh, beloved. It is our faith that overcomes the world. It is the love of Jesus that enables us to endure all things. Love endures all things. We can have every other fruit of the Spirit, but if we haven't got that, we can never be successful. And that's why Jesus said to Peter, Peter, lovest thou me more than these? Love is the key. Without love, there's no reason really to prophesy <laughs> without love. So brethren, loins girt about with truth, the breastplate of righteousness, faith and love. The feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the gospel of peace. We are to be peacemakers, love makers. 
Jesus is the Prince is the Prince of Peace. Our dearly beloved. We have an enemy, brethren, who's come down having great wrath because he knows that his time is short. And he's trying to take you out. Do not be like Eve. Eve was just like strolling around. She thought, I can handle the fall. She was just strolling around. And she just wandered away from Adam. And she found herself at the forbidden fruit. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. As soon as she heard the serpent speaking, she should have ran back to Adam. But she thought, hmm. And the, and the devil made her feel good. You know, he, yay, has God said, you know, yay, oh, you look so beautiful, you know. See, the devil's not going to come in the way that you think he's going to come. Watch. Because temptations will troop in that many will not recognize as temptations. It's only he that has the whole armor on. It's only he that is filled with the Holy Spirit that can detect sin under any guise. So my brethren, Jesus says, watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace. The shoes, where are we going? Are our feet ordered of the Lord? Are they ordered? And if they are ordered by faith, we have to walk in it. We have to walk the walk. It's just not talk the talk. We have to walk the shoes. The preparation of the gospel of peace. Where are we going? Where are we wandering? It's like when God said to Elijah, what doest thou here? Sometimes we have to ask the question, what are we doing here? Did God send us here? Did God send you on that errand? Be watchful, my brethren, be careful. Eve was blindfolded into perdition. Number four, and above all, taking the shield of faith, whereby you shall be able to quench. Oh, the fiery darts of the wicked one. The fiery darts. You see, Satan is aiming to destroy you, to take you out, to rob you of eternal life. You need the shield. You need the shield of faith. Beloved, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. When the centurion said, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. Just speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Jesus turned him about and said, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Jesus called that faith. Speak the word only. Oh, beloved. Take the shield of faith. Fill your mind with the word of truth that by hearing, you may have the faith. The shield of faith. We need to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy, brethren. We need to resist him. You know? Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he shall flee. And number five, brethren, the helmet of salvation. That helmet of salvation, brethren. Salvation. The gift of God. Eternal life. Free, the helmet. We need to accept Jesus as our personal saviour from sin. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is sat at the right hand of God. For consider him who suffered such contradiction of sinners, lest you be wearied in your mind and faint. And faint. Remember Ellen G. White's vision, the first vision? The Advent people travelling to the city of God. Many fainted. They fell off the path. Down into the dark and wicked world below. They grew weary. This is no time to grow faint. Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. Jesus spoke this parable to this end. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. Pray. Persevere in prayer. The helmet of salvation, brethren. And number six. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We need the sword, brethren. Jesus dealt with the devil. 
by the sword of the spirit. It is written. We have to know the word of God. We have to know. It is written. The sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. I'm going to keep this brief tonight brethren. Number seven. And praying always with all prayer and supplication. With perseverance for all the saints. And Paul says and the utterance may be given unto me. That I may open my mouth boldly and speak for Jesus. Glory hallelujah brethren. Number seven prayer. Complete. Complete. We need the whole armour. Brethren if we haven't got the whole armour on. We're going to be exposed to the fiery darts of the enemy. Beloved I love you so much. I'm just going to keep this brief tonight brethren. I just wanted to share that with you. Let's just not think brethren that. The enemy. Is just going to. Let us go on lightly. Satan saved his most fierce attacks right at the end of Christ's mission. The fiercest attacks. Denied, betrayed. Handed over into the hands of sinners. Crucified. Forsaken by all. The shepherd was smitten. And the sheep were scattered abroad. Brethren, I love you so much. Let us be watchful, be prayerful. Watch, for ye know not the hour. Watch. Don't spend time on needless. Keep a watch over your eyes. Let's cast away, brethren, the abomination of our eyes. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the beauty of Jesus. And by beholding, we shall be changed. God bless you, brethren. I love you so much. Till we meet again. I love you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to the Most High. Amen. Praise God.